It's Shamika from WorkPerfect Apps. And in this video, we're going to see how you can plug in T-Pro in your project management structure within Monday. So let's imagine that you have a project management structure with a portfolio management board and multiple project boards. So right now is creating a timesheet board for all of the for all the people who are working on projects, let's consolidate all the tasks that they need to timesheet on. So I've created a simple board here, which has different groups. As you can see, I have a person column, status column, and an actual effort column. Next column that I'm gonna create, just so that I have more benefits and more information about my tasks, is a connect board column. And this column is actually connected to the project template and hence rest of the project boards that I have. So that's the step one. Step two, what we're gonna do is in template as well as each of our project board, we're gonna create several columns. So these are, com so one of the columns is kind of mandatory, but the other ones are pretty much optional. So you can see this is my, one of my projects. I have created, I've created three extra columns here. One is the project name. This is a simple text column that indicates what's the name of the project. Whenever we set up the project, we go in, we batch select all of the actions here, and then we just chuck in the project name. The next one is my trigger. So the trigger is only used to send the activities to the timesheet board. By all means, you can use all the existing columns in your board at the moment, but I've kept it separate, so it's my trigger. And once you link, sorry, once you connect, once you create a connect board column in the timesheet board and start connecting your existing project boards, if you create two-way connection, you're also gonna have a um, connect board column in here. So that's the step two. Step three is also really simple, is adding an automation in the project boards and the template that goes something like this. When timesheet board changes to yes, create an item in the timesheet board and connect the project agile with the link to timesheets. So this automation is pretty simple, actually, if you look at it. Once you open this automation, make sure while you're creating an item, you're naming it along with your project name. What this is gonna do is this is gonna help differentiate between the same activities or tasks for two different projects. For example, we can't have five kickoff items within our timesheet board. So the way we're gonna differentiate it is that we're gonna prefix that with a project name. So what we have is agile kickoff, we have project whiskey kickoff and so on. So this is the step three. In these three steps, what you can do is number one, the benefit of these three steps basically is your timesheet board. Now, when I go to the timesheet board, I have several tasks and you can see all of my tasks are more or less have a prefix of a particular project and then a specific task. Now, when I go to the timesheet calendar view, after doing the setup, what I can see is that I have several activities in the backlog and several in the work in progress. So these are just the group titles that you have in your board. In my work in progress, I have project whiskey task one and tasks two. Simply, I can now drag and drop and I can specify the time that I have spent on project whiskey and then I can quickly create and publish my timesheets. The benefit of this, what you can see is within the reports. So now what you can do is in the reports, you can simply filter out a bunch of details such as I've filtered here, Project Whiskey. All you can see is, okay, up until now, only Shamika has spent time and it's about nine hours. So these are all the activities of Project Whiskey. Shamika has spent nine hours on it. And then if I want to see when was this time spent, uh, you can also say that in July, we spent about four hours and in August, we spent about five hours. So this is how you can get timesheet reports to an extreme detail. So to more or less, I wanna show you another trick here within the timesheet board as well. Remember that in the main table, we linked the project board with this timesheet board, right? So every single time, if you have a planned effort, and an actual effort column, what you are able to do in this case, if you can see project whiskey task A and task, sorry, task one and task two, you can see that because I have planned effort also within my project board, I am now able to compare planned versus actual effort. And now if I plot a simple chart for this, what I am able to get is I'm able to get the project name and then on a day-to-day -day basis, I can monitor this chart to actually see how much time we have spent using the timesheets 
and how much was it planned. So you're still able to get more or less in-depth um, reporting using the timesheet reports as well as a very overarching reporting using the Monday dashboards as well. So to recap, there's three steps you can do. One, you want to create a timesheet board and make sure you have three columns, which is a person, status, and an actual effort column. Second, in your project boards and the template, you want to add another column for project name and a trigger of your choice. Then the third step in the automation, you want to create an automation in template that more or less creates an item in the timesheet board and links it with the template. So that's about it for this video. And that's how you can plug in Timesheets Pro in your existing workflow. If you want me to cover up any other workflows, do drop me a message or give this one a shot and let me know what you think.